With London looming and the Olympics less than a year away, gymnastics pressure is building around the world. With the Americans' golden history and the women's all around, expectations are high for a third in a row. Right now, U.S. champion Jordan Weber may be their best chance, and the World Championships is where she can prove she's the one to beat. NBC Sports presents the 2011 World Gymnastics Championships. The Tokyo Tower rises from a city of 13 million, where some things and memories survived a second world war, but most was built after it. This is Tokyo, Japan, and this is the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. Amazingly, the site also of the 1964 Summer Olympics Gymnastics Competition. Today, it's the women's all around. The United States has two representatives after winning the gold medal in the team competition. And the leader of this team right now is a 16-year-old who is essentially undefeated, Michigan's Jordan Weber, center of your screen. But this will bring out the best in the Chinese. Yao Jinan on the left. We'll see her in a moment. Watching along with you, Al Troutwig, along with Olympic gold medalist Tim Daggett and Elfie Schlegel. Tim, how would you assess what's about to begin here? Well, if everything goes as it should for these two young ladies, the American Jordan Weber and Russia's Victoria Komova, I don't think anybody else can challenge. They are just the class of the field. In the stands watching the rest of Team USA, in addition to Jordan Weber, Alexandra Raisman was the only one to have competed on a world stage. So in they came with inexperience, a big story for the United States. But on the vault, Michaela Maroney got them started. And this was the only reason why Michaela made this U.S. team for that vault alone. Huge score she delivered. Jordan Weber on the balance beam. She has been eight for eight at these world championships thus far. And Al, after Alicia Sakamoni injured her Achilles and left Tokyo, it was Ali Raisman that took the team leadership role and she did a fantastic job bringing Team USA together. In qualification, they had no major misses, 20 for 20. In the final, they had no major misses, 12 for 12. And there they are with plenty of experience now and a team gold medal. Well, you know, Al, it has been almost uncanny how consistent this Team USA has been. You compare them to the Chinese, the Russians, the Romanians. Everybody has had problems on this competition floor. So far, not Team USA. Yao Jinan of China will get things started. What kind of a factor is she going to be? Well, Yao has been amazing in this competition, but I don't think she'll challenge for the first and second spot. She probably will want to challenge for that bronze medal position. She has been the star of the Chinese team. She has the difficulty. Now, take a look on the left-hand side there on the scoreboard. You'll see a 5.8, which indicates the type of value of the vault that Yao will be doing. And it's your Chenko double twist. But the maximum that she can score is a 15.8. And when we're talking about tenths of a point in this competition, Sometimes it comes down to these vaults that are 5.8 or like Jordan Weaver who will be performing a vault that's 6.5. China, of course, came away with the bronze in the team competition and they were led mostly by Yao Jinan. The thing that she does, like every Chinese, is she has beautiful lines and is very clean. Nicely done. Legs pasted together. She maximized everything yeah. from this vault. Pretty powerful. I would have to say she's the most powerful athlete on the, the entire Chinese women's team. Take a look at the form. Take a look at the lift off the horse. As Tim mentioned, glued legs together and does a fairly good job on that landing. So, Tim, legs together. Almost a stuck landing. If not, where do the deductions come from? Well, you see, there is a little bit of legs apart. And believe it or not, your body has to be relatively straight as you come into the floor. She had a little bit of a hip angle. They're going to say she didn't get quite enough rebound off of the table. They're going to find probably eight-tenths of a point off. Somewhere in that neighborhood, and that's exactly what they do. Right, from 15.8, which would be perfect, down to, with the deductions, 14.966. That's a good start for her, though. Excellent. 
Now Jordan Weber. She attends DeWitt High School, but also takes classes online. You have to when you travel around and train like she does, don't you? Yeah, you sure do. And, you know, as Elfie mentioned, she's going to do a much more difficult vault. One of just a handful of athletes that are capable of doing this in the entire world. And she's been very consistent with this vault at these championships. This is go. big. Oh, super powerful. You see that big step on the landing. That'll cost her three-tenths of a point. But remember, this vault starts seven-tenths higher than the vault that we just saw from Yao Jinan. We will get Jordan Weber's score. This is Coco Surumi of Japan chalking up on the uneven bars. Elfie, why do you think gymnastics in Japan has never really translated to the women's side? It's really always been a men's story. Yeah, I, I mean, for years, and I, I can look back to 1978, watching the Japanese men who just, I, it, there's such history with their program, and I think it, they've never really had a star on the women's side, and I think sometimes it, it takes that name, and certainly they have it in Coco Surumi, but I think she reached her peak two years ago at the World Championships. She is certainly part of this team and contributes, but they just don't do the big skills that the men do. But she's actually capable of being great here. She, Very nice lines, yeah. as you see there. And the toes, look at the beautiful toe point. She's lovely to watch, but she doesn't take your breath away. mentioned 2009 she won a bronze medal at the world championships oh. in the all-around wow this is so far i nice. gotta tell you this is this is fabulous oh oh god that's devastating because that that happened on a, an extremely simple skill transition from the low bar to the high bar it almost looked like she wasn't tall enough to grab the high bar wow, that was that sad because it really was going to be a great exercise and a great start for her competition oh shame what a shame Seemed like she was beaten before the dismount because when she was remounting the uneven bars her body language just looked beaten so you look at Jordan Weber now getting the benefit of that high start value, 15.716, meaning Yao Qinan of China needed to almost be perfect to stay even with her. Now, guys, we're seeing a lot of extra steps and a lot of big mistakes in this World Championships. What does it all mean? Well, what it comes down to is the new code of points, the rules for gymnastics. They are just so heavily influenced by doing the bigger trick, one more twist, one more flip, and doing lots of things in combination. And because of that, you're seeing the athletes Oftentimes, the, the not top-tier athletes, they struggle with it. But Jordan, you know, it was a big step, but that is a huge number right there. But more importantly, some athletes like Jordan are willing to take the risk to win a world championship title. So sometimes with that, a step comes here and there. The top nations can qualify two into the competition. Here's Victoria Komova of Russia. Now, you know, Al, she did, has not performed this vault we just saw from Jordan Weber here but she is capable of it as a matter of fact last summer she won the youth Olympic Games and she did this vault the two and a half twist perfectly Beautifully. yeah yeah <laughs> but but she's been battling ankle injuries and she has been plagued by that all year long she's not completely 100% at least that's what the coaches are saying and I think they were playing it safe what she's dealing with now is getting iced. She's been up on the podium for a long time as this gymnasium awaits the score of Surumi. Yeah, it's the worst thing. Waiting there and just uh, not knowing. And the funny thing is, is, you know, for an inexperienced gymnast, they're going to get a green light. She's going to, at some point, get a green light. And the inexperienced gymnast, they're going to be all rattled by that. And it's like, oh, I got to go right now. My guess is she's going to get the green light. She's going to take a beat. She's going to take a breath. She's going to compose herself. Maybe adjust her hand guards a few more times. Uh, there's no consoling yeah. Coco Surumi right now. Yeah, that's it for her. A 12-5 in the all-around competition. She is pretty much done here. You see the shrug of the shoulders from Komovo. She doesn't understand what's taking so long. 
Uh, so frustrating. But what she does understand is the vault that she's about to perform, 5.8 start value, Jordan Weaver, 6.5. What she has to do is stick that vault the best she can. We swing it over to the uneven bars. Luka Wana Haidu. And she already has a bit of a mistake right there. We've she said it over and over that traditionally this is not the event for the Romanians. They just don't put the time and effort into the technique of this event where they excel. Bars, uh, excuse me, balance beam floor exercise, but visible errors here. Yeah. But, you know, one thing that's good about this young lady is she actually says that uneven bars are her favorite event. And, you know, she is young, so if she likes it... It's promising. Yeah. But that was... Not a great set at all. He had the error right off the top and then lots of little form deductions. Relative to the class of the field, that's gonna place way down there. Now going in, do they think they're a contender for the all-around title? Oh, absolutely not. They know that. They came here for the team. Yes. That was their main goal, qualifying to next summer's Olympic Games. I mean, this, this Romanian team is still rebuilding. Now, he's not the man on the podium there, but the Romanians have their legendary coach there, Vince Lombardi, Octavian Bellu, back on the scene. So he figures he's got about 10 months to work on this. And, you know, he told me here in uh, Tokyo that he thought it was enough time. He said, I don't know, but I think that I think it's enough. <laughs> and they have really their program has already seen a huge resurgence. 13.366. Deductions all over the place. Yep. It's exactly what we expected. Now let's go back over and see what's happening on the launch ramp of the vault. So, and there it is. It's a 5.8, so she is going conservative, not going to do the harder vault. So let's just see how perfect she can be. Pretty darn close. Yeah, beautiful. The Very only nice. place is the landing. She's she's mad. <laughs> it's a very a long wait. uncomfortable to just be out there. So she has a beautiful body position in the air. Take a look at her legs glued together, just a little offside. Well, but that was 50 yard line. That was a very smart decision because this vault just did not have enough oomph to get around another half twist. She would have ended up sitting it down. Yeah, and not take any chances on those ankles. They're still rebuilding this young lady. They expect her to be back in the lineup next summer. As a gymnast, Tim, do you just have to accept that long wait? Is that just part of the game? Oh, it absolutely is from when you're a little kid, you know, starting out in age group gymnastics, it happens. And, you know, as a coach, as a matter of fact, the, the gymnast we're gonna see in a little bit, Allie Raisman, she said one of the reasons she thinks she can handle this pressure so well is sometimes she'll be standing by the beam ready to go in practice and her coach will w make her wait five minutes. So it's something you practice. The score is posted for Komova of Russia and it's a 14.933, meaning that Jordan Weber's off to a good start and we'll see if Allie Raisman can match that after this from Tokyo. The first rotation in the women's all-around continues at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. And from China, this is Huang Qishang. Hey, Elf, weigh in on that <laughs> leotard. What do you think? I'm not sure where her inspiration came from, but it's very bright, very colorful, and she's making a statement. Same vault that we've just seen starts at a 15.8. Just offside, of course, just small deductions being across from that line. We've seen this, seen this same vault from both Komova and from Yao Jinan of China. And I believe we'll see the same one right here. And here's another waiting Russian, Senia Fanaseva. Waiting, waiting. And what she's waiting for is the score to be posted for Wang Qishang. And it's going to be a 14.733. So both of the Chinese women start similarly, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's a good start for her. Yeah, and I think that was exactly right. The judges got it exactly right there. Uh, a couple of tenths lower than we saw from her teammate, Yao Jinan, and also from Victoria Komova. And 
and she puts that one to her feet, but this should be considerably lower than we have just seen because a little bit sloppy. Well, and when you're seeing all of the same vaults go by, one after the other, you have to make some distinction, and where her deductions will come from is the low landing, the bent knees, the chest landing very low to the ground. So, you know, shouldn't be anywhere near the no. score we just saw, of course. Just doesn't have anywhere near the power. You see the knees and watch the hips. Does she have an angle? She's got a huge angle. She tries to drive the chest up, but... So nitpicky, but this is the all-around championship. Every tenth counts. And the way the draw is done here in the women's all-around, all the highest-ranked gymnasts are on the same apparatus at the same time so they can really keep an eye on each other and see what the number is that they need. And right now, the number that we've seen is that of Jordan Weber in the background there. You heard her just say, come on, Allie. Long waits for the scores. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, too, because, I mean, the amount of gymnastics that the judges are evaluating on vault lasts uh, about a second, you know, so it's uh, it's it really is a shame. It should be a lot faster than that. So far, they they mm -hmm, the fair. judges. I would have to say they're doing a good job of of uh, differentiating the athletes. You know, we we said earlier about Jordan Weber had been eight for eight coming into this. Well, Allie Raceman is seven for seven. She did not compete the uneven bars in the team championships, but so far she has been an absolute utter rock at these championships. In training every single day, the qualifying, and then in the team finals. Remember, she was the one that rallied the troops uh, going into the last event floor exercise, got the three of the athletes that were about to compete, Weber and Maroney together and that was fun to see. Yeah, it was imagine this her second world championship 17 years old, but this should be a good start for Ali. She's capable of a solid vault Best she's done that was beautiful Just like everything else that she's done here in Japan very strong very strong vault That's congratulations from coach Mihai Breschen Remember, Ali is carrying a bit more pressure and probably sadness on her shoulders. Her teammate, Alicia Sacramoni, went down with a ruptured Achilles tendon right before the competition. She had been the unquestionable leader of Team USA, but... And the judges should reward her for this fault. Her chest was high. She landed very solidly. It was powerful. Overall, one of the best 5.8 vaults that we've seen. It was very good. She gets wrapped up for the next rotation. We'll wait for the score. Meanwhile, on the beam, Anna Porgras. So she's not with the top-seeded gymnasts from Romania. She's on a different apparatus. What are her chances here today? Well, she's actually quite good. Um, a little bit better than I do the other Romanian that's competing here. She's uh, She's been, you know, in the top tier of gymnasts. She just, in the qualifying round, she made some errors. And she won a gold medal on this event at last year's World Championships. She has a beautiful look, very stylish, very balletic. It's probably her best apparatus of the four. Very nice. And of course, if you're Romania, balance beam is going to be one of your strengths if you make that team. And as Elfie said, it certainly is for Anna. Just a little bit cautious, though. Some little checks here and there. I can't get over how much she has grown has matured, but is still so beautiful artistically. The difficulty on balance beam, of course, is when you see the athletes do combinations of skills, they're supposed to connect them quickly. And that's been a little bit of a challenge here for some athletes at these championships. And again, just opens it up for the judges to put their pen down on paper and take a little tenth here and there. This is a solid start for her. Great Very exercise. Good. Very good. 
And you know, Al, you mentioned that this is not the top group starting on balance beam. I really don't think that that's going to have any impact. Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I think that if she goes out and does her job, hits four sets, she's going to be right. She'll be not challenging for a medal, but she'll be she'll be in that next group of three or four athletes. And certainly with a, a start like this on balance being her best event, doing skills like this, she'll be rewarded quite well. This was a beautiful exercise, and you're gonna see her right at the top of the scoreboard. But right there, I believe she was supposed to connect those two elements together without a pause, and so she will lose that connection, won't get that extra tenth of a point. We get used to seeing all these things, but every time I walk up and touch that beam, I can't believe what's possible upon it. Hours and hours of training, but that's that will that will get a good score. I think we'll see Anna right up there. Yeah, a mere four inches wide. Crazy. So Allie Raceman gets in the 15s. That's a great start for her, a 15.233. Jordan Weaver had a 15.7, so that's even bigger. But you know that score, that is a huge score for a 15.8 vault. Wow. And a progress of 15.1. So rare 15s, but they're there for us to see. In Tokyo, we'll check the first rotation scoreboard and move to the second rotation in the women's all around.